let me scroll down here because I think I need more space to explain this. So I have my semiconductor, which has its uh, conduction band and it has its uh, valence band. And I'm not in equilibrium in this case. I'm not in equilibrium. So I have, I'm maybe applying an external voltage or a bias. So instead of having one Fermi level, I have two of these quasi Fermi levels. So I have these two of these uh, quasi Fermi level. Each of them describes the uh, population of uh, electrons and holes. So I have this first quasi Fermi level and I denote this as EFN and it, it tells me how is the probability of occupation of electrons in my conduction mat. But I also have a second Fermi level, I have a second quasi Fermi level and I can denote this as EFP and this gives me the probability of occupations of carriers in my valence band. So it tells me the number of holes or how, how my electrons are occupied in my valence band. So instead of having one of this uh, Fermi level, I have uh, two of these uh, quasi Fermi levels. So in terms of placements of these uh, quasi Fermi levels, each of them could be located above or below their respective bands. So in this case, this uh, quasi Fermi level for uh uh, for electrons is located below the conduction band and the quasi Fermi level for holes is located above the valence band but I could have essentially this case where I have uh, let me I could have four possible cases so let me make four copies of my band diagram so let me copy this I, can, I don't need to draw it again and again so let me copy it here and let me copy it over here so i could have four possible scenarios and since you know let, let's to divide my thoughts over here let me also draw and separate out these four separate quadrants so i could have four possible scenarios over here so i could have my i could have my um, my quasi fermi level for electrons below my uh, below my conduction band as shown over here or it could be above my conduction band as shown over here so i could have similarly over here it's below my conduction band and over here it's above my conduction band and similarly my quasi fermi level for holes it could be uh, above my valence band as shown over here or it could be below my valence band as shown over here so this is my quasi Fermi levels for holes, which is below my valence band. Similarly, over here, it could be above my valence band or it could be below my valence band. So now I'm the thing I'm interested in finding out is which one of these uh, scenarios. So I, let me label them. So let me label them. So this is scenario number one. This is scenario number two and uh, this is scenario number three and four. So does any of these scenarios gives me the condition for population inversion, which is does any of them results in N2 uh, being greater than N1 or N2 by N1 being greater than one. So let's consider the case over here. So over here I have uh, my uh, quasi Fermi level for electrons which is below my conduction band so I have a few electrons over here since you know this Fermi level for electrons is below my band so only a few of the states which are above it are occupied and this is my quasi Fermi level for my second band for my valence band so this all the states in the valence band are below this Fermi level so this is this is full of full of electrons so I have a large pile of electrons over here so in one which is the number of electrons over here is much larger than the number of electrons over here so again this is this does not give me the condition so let me cross it out so this does not give me the condition this does not satisfy n2 greater than n1 now let's look at this case so now this this is interesting right so my quasi fermi level for electrons is above my conduction band so i'll have i have quite a few you know it's a it's a big pile of electrons over here as well so this is uh, N2, but my and my quasi Fermi level for holes is uh, you know is uh, for my valence band is above my valence band. So 
what it says is that my all the states below are all filled with electrons so all the states below my quasi fermi level are filled with electrons so i still have a very large pile of uh, electrons over here so even though i have increased n2 over here i still have a very large n1 and i have not made a dent in this very large n1 so this n2 by n1 is still less than one even though i'm increasing uh, n2 because these uh, n1 or these all these states below my valence bind and since there are a large uh, number of them and also there's a uh, uh, almost you know complete probability that they are filled this n1 is still large and this n2 by n1 is still less than one so again you know this this also does not meet my requirement you know i, I need to keep on looking i'm you know I, i'm getting uh, i'm getting you know i'm kind of, i'm getting nervous over here maybe this this you know all the simulated emission business can never happen at all but you know just you know just to just to just to make sure let let's just test out scenario three and four as well so now let's look at you know scenario three so now now okay this is uh, interesting so now i have a small pile of a small pile of uh, electrons over here because my quasi fermi level for electrons is below my conduction band and interestingly my quasi fermi level for uh, for uh, uh, for my valence band is below below this uh, below this uh, valence band so what i'm saying is that i'm reducing my n1 so i'm 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 reducing my number of electrons over here so i'm i'm you know making a dent in this pile of electrons because all these states which are above my uh, quasi fermi level for uh, for my valence band they are not occupied so you know some of these states which which lie uh, in this region they are not being occupied but the states which are below it are still you know the states which are below it are still occupied but nevertheless i'm making a dent in my n1 so i'm i, I have a small n2 but uh, i've made a dent in my n1 so it looks like you know i'm, I'm tending towards uh, con or reducing this n2 or sorry increasing this uh, n2 by n1 ratio so i'm I'm decreasing this, but in this case, since this uh, quasi Fermi level for uh, electrons is much uh, below my conduction band, so my N2 is small as well, and maybe my N2 by N1, I cannot say with guarantee that this, you know, this is going to be greater than one. So this, you know, I I don't have any assurance till now that my N2 by N1 is greater than one. But now let's so uh, now let's look at this case. Maybe you know, I have dim hopes, but let's see if 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 i can have population inversion over here so now this is interesting so what i'm doing over here is i have moved my quasi fermi level for electrons electrons deep into my conduction band so i have a large number of uh, large number of n2 over here i have increased my number of uh, n2 over here and i have also moved my uh, valence band or my quasi Fermi level for my valence band is below my valence band so you know I have made a dent in uh, so I have increased my N2 over here so I have increased my N2 and I have made a dent in the number of uh, electrons in my valence band over as well so I have decreased the number of uh, electrons over here and so in this case i have reduced my n1 and i have increased my n2 and this is the best I, I can do so you know this is the condition which in which i can have n2 by n1 greater than 1 and you know i can say with uh, you know with some hope that if uh, if this is the case then my n2 by n1 can be greater than 1 or i could have population inversion so in terms of in terms of uh, location of these quasi fermi level if i compare them to the band gap so if i compare them to the band gap so the band gap is over here so what i'm saying is that uh, to state uh, this this quadrant 4 in a mathematical expression what i'm saying is that for population uh, inversion to happen this uh, difference between the quasi fermi level or difference between my EFN and uh, subscribed by my EFP, this should be greater than the band gap. So the condition for population inversion becomes that the difference between these quasi Fermi levels should be greater than the band gap. And in the next video, we'll see how we can achieve this uh, in a PN diode.